Hello, my name is Terry Spicer. I'm 36 years old. I was born and raised in the beautiful city of Memphis, Tennessee, and I'm currently still a resident here. My story begins in Memphis. At the age of 18, I graduated from Central High School in 1992. From there, I went to work for a company called Mrs. Fields Cookies at the Mall of Memphis. The minimum wage at the time was $4.25. I purchased that business two years later for $115,000 with my own sweat and equity. Before the recession, I was earning $100,000 plus per year. Since the recession has come, I'm earning around $35,000. A little tough, but I'm making it work. Well, this is the home I used to live in before the recession came. I've kept an acquaintance with the now owners and they've allowed me um, access to inside the home and we can go in and see where I used to live. All right. This is where I used to live before the recession came and I'll take you through a, a, a view of my living quarters before the recession. Where I'm headed right now is my favorite place to be when I came home from work to unwind near my pool. All right, this was my favorite place to be after work. I come outside, enjoy the sun setting, and recline. And this is how I used to live before the recession. Before the recession, I had five retail stores doing well over a million dollars a year in business. Traveling the country, skydiving, snorkeling, engaged to be married, living the life, a nearly a perfect life. The recession came, it took everything from me. It put its foot on my neck and took me down to one location, one store. I have one year of college, and the only reason I have one year of college is because the opportunity came to where I could purchase a franchise. I could either have continued my college to eventually come back to get into the business world, the franchising world, or take the opportunity and go straight into franchising at the age of 19. I took the franchising route at age 19, and here I am today, a solid, a strong businessman because of that choice. The thing that will set me apart and make me the most rememberable apprentice ever is the fact that I am the greatest businessman that has ever lived, preceded only by Mr. Trump, of course, and his beautiful executives. Let me take you to my business now and how I currently live. This is my place of business and my beautiful co-workers. <laughs> Before the recession, one of my favorite uncles, Mr. Charles White, um, his wife left him and he didn't have much income of his own. So whenever he called me to uh, request assistance, I would always give him funds or monies that he needed to help him his situation out. Um, after the recession, times got tough on him even more. And of, and of course, as I already mentioned, it got tough on me. When my uncle would call me, uh, after the recession for funds, I would do what I, I could. Let me mention he's also, he's diabetic. And the funds that I would be giving him is going for his, uh, his medicine to help him with his diabetes, the insulin he needed. One day my uncle called me and he asked me for some money so that he can get his insulin. I told him, uncle, uh, yes, I can help you, but um, I need to wait one day so that I can of course, create some income from the sales of my business. And I said, I want to make some deposits and make sure my, you know, my, my bills were paid for that following day. I wanted him to call me about 3 p.m. the next day. And the sad thing is I never got a call. My uncle died and the recession affected me financially. And it personally, it really hit me hard, it hit home. My uncle, he's no longer with me. I own one home and I'm currently about to rent that home and move back in with my father just so that I can reorganize. And that's what I'm going to show you right now, my living conditions. Come inside. And this is where I'm living now, back in the house with my father, where I love it. And as you can see, I'm still unpacking. And that is my story. I'm your next apprentice.